Tonight, the body of a fallen Utah firefighter is back in Utah. The plane carrying the remains of Draper Fire Battalion Chief Matt Burchett landed at Salt Lake International Airport about an hour ago. Now a procession is taking him and his family to a funeral home in South Jordan. We have team coverage tonight. Fox 13's Matt McDonald spoke to people in the community who are coming together to remember Burchett. But we begin with Fox 13's Lauren Steinbecker near the Utah Air National Guard base at the Salt Lake International Airport. Lauren. Yeah, the hearse as well as Burchett's family left the airport here about 15 minutes ago. The end to an hours long journey for him to come home and for Burchett's firefighting community giving them a piece of closure. A flag rises up in tribute and honor. Hugs are shared between a brotherhood that today is suffering. It's emotional. Um, it's sad because he was such a good guy. It's very unexpected. This kind of careful ritual isn't often carried out. The standing watch around the clock. On scene in California, they've actually had Cal Fire sentinels, what we call them, or guards, that stand with the body. 24 hours a day. Then reuniting battalion oh, chief Matt Burchett's remains oh, with his family. Wednesday morning, Burchett's wife and brother flew to California along with Utah firefighters. A California Air National Guard plane then took off for Utah. After landing, Burchett's Utah firefighting family took over watch from there. Matt was such a good person and he don't, you know, he was, he was a hero. For a hero and his grieving community. It makes it a lot more real. Coming home feels like the end of watch is a chance to properly say goodbye. I'm told now that Burchett's firefighting family here has taken over that watch. Sentinel guards from Draper and Unified Fire are going to be standing not only at the funeral home, but at Burchett's family's home 24 hours a day. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah. Lauren, thank you. Now here is a look at the route the procession is taking tonight. They are traveling south on I-215, then shifting over to I-15 in Murray, and then will exit at 90th South to get to the mortuary in South Jordan. Police say drivers along the route should expect delays. The outpouring of community support is just getting started for Battalion Chief Burchett and his family. Fox 13's Matt McDonald is at the funeral home in South Jordan. Matt. There are already hundreds. There will probably be thousands here. Once that procession arrives, it's probably going to arrive here in the next 10 minutes to 20 minutes or so as they finally pull in. And so many people have come out, whether they knew Burchett or not, just to say thank you. On the 700 West overpass. You know, it's so hard to put it into words. I don't think I can think of it. I mean, it's such a tragedy. There's no easy words. There's no easy way to go about it. The words are hard to find. There's nothing you can say. Words alone fail us. I think more importantly, it's, it's what we show from now until the end of time. Kids, parents, couples, and families line the procession route to bring Battalion Chief Matt Burchett home. I thought it was important to come out here and pay our respects. I just wanted to come and pay my respects to the hero fighter fi firefighters that are out there. They may not find the right words, but they know the lesson Burchett left behind. He loves his family, and he wanted to be a good example for his son. And they know they're part of something bigger. Everything that happens after a line of duty death to the burial is all about honoring Matt's family. It's about honoring Matt's commitment to the community and the oath that he took. And it's about honoring Matt and his ultimate sacrifice. No one wanted the day to come when they would stand on this overpass. I think in the back of most firefighters' minds, if not all, um, there's a realization that it's possible that, that you won't come home. They come because words are never enough. It really is hard to find the right words. We do expect that procession to arrive here sometime between 9.15 and 9.30. One thing we want to let you know, we're actually going to move all of our stuff over here, try to bring you some shots of that procession as it comes in, but at the same time, be respecting the family's rights for privacy. They've made that request. We're working with Unified Fire Authority to make sure it happens just the way they want it. In South Jordan, Matt McDonald, Fox 13 News, Utah. Matt, thank you. This is a live look near the funeral home where the procession is headed. You can see the flag 
posted above the street, and under that flag will pass the remains of Draper Fire Battalion Chief Matt Burchett and his family. We will check back in, as Matt just said, in the next few minutes once the procession does get closer. We'll have live team coverage when that happens during this newscast.